Let's see. I'll just do a cruiser, so. Oh, this, that's amazing, eh? It's unbelievable. It's sort of the best of both worlds, really. You know, yeah. you don't... It doesn't, the bike doesn't need to have a lot of power. It's just enough power to be able to get you up the steep stuff so you can turn around and just ride like a downhill bike down. Yeah. Um, there's enough power there to really hit berms hard and to um, jump, you know, big jumps. And yeah. I don't know. Pretty awesome. The, you know, possibilities, possibilities are... Are endless really yeah. with this thing yeah cool you dirt jump it and race it on a track or yeah you know we'll just go trail riding for hours which would probably be the most fun you know with a couple of guys on these things we got a fantastic yeah Here in Wellington, especially where it's you know, near the south coast, and there's you know there's plenty of accessible riding here, and everywhere you know they, there are places you can ride. It's just um, yeah, it doesn't tear up the ground. That I mean, I've just been you can see where I've been riding on this on the single track and stuff. There's not enough power there for the bike to really to tear the ground up any more than a mountain bike really. So. Mm -hmm. A full-size motocross bike would do damage to the track, but it wouldn't be fun to ride it because it's, you know, the full-size moto just uh, not nimble enough. But this, it's just like riding a downhill bike. Cool. So um, you can just shuttle yourself, just cruise back up the fire road, and then hit the downhill on the way back down. Brilliant. <laughs>